Welcome back to Fallout 1.5. The last thing we did was get a new dog friend, which unfortunately the game forces you to call Mutt. I didn't think that was very good, so, uh, you know, I had a little conversation with God and asked them if they thought Mutt was an okay name. They said it was pretty terrible and said I should call them Woofer instead. So, I'm gonna call them Woofer. Uh, I also cranked up the brightness to max, which might make it look a little bit weird, especially in menus, but the game's so freaking dark when it's nighttime, I figured I'll just do that until it becomes daytime. Okay, so we're on the south side of, what is this, Rat Town? Let's go explore the gun, the whole gun store place a little bit more, because I think that's the one place I haven't quite fully explored, and then after that we're going to go to the north side and get into some trouble. I believe we have to steal or somehow, just somehow procure uh, medical supplies from the asshole in the north. Insert beyond the wall joke. Um, I have a feeling I'm not meant to go in these places. Let's see. Can I? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Probably houses their vital supplies. These are probably the same sorts of buildings I need to somehow break into in the north side. Oh, except this one. Distillery? a bar. I serve Julian's men, so get the hell out. Okay, never mind. Not welcome here. I just searched the pool table? I found nothing? Not even pool balls? Alright. Pool balls have a name. I don't remember what they are. I guess there's really nothing else to do here. Did I talk with those people? I'm not sure if I've talked with these people all the way in the north. The north of the south. So let's just go double check that and then head to the north side. I think I did. Alright. A deathly stench hits your nose, it would be wise to watch your step. Yeah, this place is supposed to be even more of a shithole than the south side, and the south side wasn't too pretty. <laughs> so, let's save. Lots of mercenaries. Junkies. Oh, what? Holy shit! Uh... Welp. No thanks. Where's their body? It's kind of morbid, but do they have anything on them? No, they don't. Okay, then. Well, I would like to shoot them, but then... Then it would just be all-out war. Let's save that for after I've explored, perhaps. A church? Welcome to the house of God, daughter. I'm Father Farley, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the shrine. You look like a decent person. Or are you tormented by the sins you need to confess? No, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, sins? That'd be what? What exactly do you think I've done? Don't you know what a sin is? Something had to have s uh, smashed your head if you don't know the meaning of that word. Sins are bad things you've done. A confession will ease your conscience and erase many sins. No, I know what a sin is. I mean, uh, never mind. Have you seen this talisman? Father Farley thinks for a while. No, sadly. I've never seen anything like this in my life. And I doubt that anyone here would tell you something else. Since the caravans have stopped coming here, we lived in complete isolation. That talisman of yours is surely one of many things from the outside world we have no grasp of. Caravans used to come here? Where from? Well, yes, caravans. They had a direct route here from Sedit, a great caravan town eastwards. I can show it to you on a map. After a while of thinking over the map on your Pip-Boy, 
He marks the town's location. Okay, so it looks like right now I'm kind of just on a hunt for just trying to find civilization, basically. Oh, I can ask him about Maria. Hmm. What can you tell me about Rattle? You surely notice the most important stuff by yourself. This town is torn into two halves that wage merciless war against each other. The north side is ruled by Leonard, the south side is ruled by Julian. Both have gathered a great number of mercenaries and they won't stop till they've eliminated each other. Their long-lasting feud destroyed the town so much it's on the verge of doom. Well, I already know the whole thing about how that started, so I won't ask him about it. Yeah, I've already gotten most of this information. I guess I didn't need to pay that asshole to tell me this stuff, huh? Could have just talked to the priest here. <laughs> Where can I find a job? I doubt anyone in town would employ you. You, uh, you can see how things are here. There's no work even for locals, let alone for strangers. Is there really no work to do? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Well, you can try your luck at Julian's or Leonard's. These two are the only ones hiring here. But it won't be risk-free. They're both so paranoid they don't even trust their own men. Leonard even completely cut connections to the outside world. The, world, the word is he's hiding in the underground of his headquarters, where only his most loyal are allowed. Apart from those, nobody has seen him for years. Huh. Nobody's seen him for years. I wonder if he's even really alive. Be funny if he wasn't. Uh, what do you do here? I look after the church and people who need my help here. Not everybody can get themselves food or cure their illnesses. If it wasn't for me, most of these poor souls would die before long. Where do you get the supplies for that? Surely no one here will give you anything for free. You are right. But God stands by my side. From time to time, Alexa visits me and gives me some caps and food. She's a holy woman. Who's Alexa? Alexa Leonard's right hand. Alexa's, or Ale Alexa's is, wait, what? Alexa's is Leonard's right hand? I'm not sure if that sentence is right. After Leonard started avoiding people, she began taking care of most of the business. You can meet her in his headquarters. But beware, she's very suspicious when it comes to strangers. All right, let's talk about Maria. You know, I get the feeling that I should probably solve this whole thing with Maria before I, like, do the whole medical supply thing, or even just try to get involved in any way between the feud between the north and the south side. Because if I solve it, then the whole problem of one side won't give the other side medical supplies or whatever might just be entirely solved, right? So yeah, let's see if I can just solve it before even getting my hands dirty in anything. Tell me about Maria. It was such a long time ago, but ask away. What exactly interests you? Wait. This is the person who handed, um, a note to George? Wasn't the last thing we talked about with George that the person who handed him the note must be the one responsible for forging it? Or must have known that was forged, right? Because the note wasn't actually the handwriting of Dr. Reed's. If so, then I've just found someone responsible? This priest? George told me you handed him a note from Dr. Reed. Can you tell me more about that? A note from Dr. Reed? Um, yes, of course, I remember that. Shortly after Maria's death, I found it pinned on the church's door. The doctor was probably in a hurry. She was one of the first who left this town. She probably foresaw what was going to happen to us. In the note, she wrote that the ceremony was taken care of. It was weird to me that she took care of it instead of me, but it's... Uh, but I supposed it's the way George wanted it. I gave him the note, and he didn't ask anything. He had a lot to worry about anyway. Oh, okay, so I guess he actually didn't know. He was just pinned to his door. <laughs> Thanks, Padre, that'll be all. What the hell kind of a line is that? So you didn't attend the funeral? Don't you at least know where her grave is? Sorry, I have no idea. But you can ask the local grave digger. He usually slacks around the graveyard. He knows more about the dead than me. All in all, my task is to take care of mainly of those still living. 
you know someone who might know more about the murder scene? That I don't know. Those who found her are long gone. I'm sorry. Hmm. Well, hopefully the gravedigger will know something. Let's get back to Maria. I don't think there's anything else to ask him. Do you know who would have wanted to kill her? No, I don't really know. I don't want to judge anyone, but it's true that Julian and Leonard had the strangest motif. With this font, the A's and the O's look almost exactly the same, if not literally exactly the same, so I don't know if this says strongest motif, which wouldn't make any sense, or strangest motif, which wouldn't make any sense either. But I think it's meant to say strongest motive. Uh, but who's the actual murderer? That's the question. Mm, what exactly happened to her? Uh, I think I already know this. I found her dead, dipped, stabbed so many times, I almost didn't recognize her. Dr. Reed was in charge of it. Yep. Already know who Dr. Reed is. Okay, looks like that's it. I don't think there's anything else to talk about. Nope, looks like that's it. Oh, actually, I did want to ask, where can I shop here? Only at Julian's or Leonard's? Oh, right, they're the two merchants, right? Children still run away from me. Okay. I also gotta remember that I'm supposed to give a letter. Um, letter by Adam for his family in Rattle. So yeah, I'm supposed to give this to Adam's family, but I don't actually remember where they are. I'm sure I'll come across them though. Just gotta make sure I talk to everybody. I suppose I can wait here. Still can't rest. Nope. Would love for it to be daytime. Let me guess, they won't serve me either. Oh, they will. Welcome. It's been a long time since we've had someone from the outside. I hope you'll buy yourself a drink. Yeah, of course, what do you have? Beer, spirits, or rum? Each goes for 20 caps. See, I think there's something rotten here. Nobody can afford to pay for their own funeral in this city. Despite the outrageous prices on your drinks, this place is crammed. Do you want to screw me over? <laughs> it's not easy to trick you. I'm getting to like you. Yep, you're right. Locals pay half the price. The sure charge is for the outsiders. You got to have more money. So why not take advantage of that? So now, will you have something or not? Honestly, even if you offered me a good price, I still wouldn't have anything. I just wanted to give you a hard time. See ya. Please move. Thank God there's this push option. Ah, oh, there. Can you push anyone? Like, even a mercenary? No, I can't push him. Okay. Oh, well, that's probably the Gravedigger, right? Shabby, older man. Yep, gotta be. The hell? Why are you bothering me? Easy now, just want to ask you something. Yeah? And what would that be? Hmm, who are you? I am who I am, you don't need to know anything else, is that all? What do you do here? I mean, I already kind of know the answer to this, but let's see. Um, ran out of money for drugs a long time ago, and since this town seems more and more fucked up to me. Okay. Why do you live in this graveyard? <laughs> That's one good question. Why? Because I got used to it. I used to be a grave digger, but nobody cares about burials nowadays. People here immediately strip every corpse of its property and sometimes of its meat. Rats take care of the rest. Just look at these graves. Not a single new one in years. Oh, this is grim. <laughs> hmm, I've been thinking. Wouldn't you like to go back to your profession for a while and dig around again? What? Are you serious? Who do you want me to bury? Not to bury, but rather to unearth. Hold on, are you talking about excavating graves? Exactly? Hmm, okay. 
I have no moral dilemma about that, but it'll cost you. How about 20 per, per a grave? Deal? Uh... Sure? This is related to Maria, right? We're trying to, like, dig up Maria or something? I'm not entirely sure how that would help, but... I hope we're talking about this quest and not just, like, digging up bodies for the hell of it to try to get loot. I'm not quite sure. Well, I guess I'll flex my sp speech skill. Uh, what about half that? Drugs are cheap here, you'll get enough anyway, and we'll both be satisfied. I really don't want to say that, but... I don't think so, there'd be too much work for such little money. Dig it up yourself. Okay. I mean, if I could dig it up myself, I guess it'd be for free, huh? <coughs> Which one should I unearth? Mm, let's just leave it for now. Oh, here we go, now I can finally ask about Maria. Father Farley has told me you might know something about Maria's funeral. What should I know? I know nothing at all. I think you're full of crap. You used to be a gravedigger here, and moreover, you've been stuck in the graveyard to, th to this very day, so you surely know about every funeral that's been here. Damn, do you want to get me into deep shit? He looks around, and then continues quietly. If I told you what I know, it would cost me my life. Holy shit, are these really my only two options? I won't ask anymore or I'll kill you? Um... Fuck. Well, I'm pretty sure if I let this lead die off, then I probably am not gonna find the answer to this. I guess I'll threaten him? Alright. Damn, I'll tell you if you insist. That is not what I wanted to do. Alright, tell me. Sometime after Maria's death, some woman visited me during the night. She had this hood on, so I couldn't see her face at all. I don't know who she was. She paid me to dig two graves. I left the grave with Maria's name empty and threw her body into the other. Unmarked grave along with Dr. Reed's body. And of course she wanted me to stay silent. She sounded really persuasive, and not only because she was aiming a pistol at me. You know what? I bet that that woman was probably Alexa, the north side person's right-hand person? I keep forgetting their names, sorry, Julian and something... I don't know, whatever. Yeah, the north side person's uh, right-hand person, Alexa. I bet she's the one that did that, because they said that... The scrape digger said that, well, is a she. And... We know that Alexa's been very giving to the church, so maybe she feels guilty? Hmm. Okay, so I might need to dig up the bodies still. So one with Maria's name is empty. So two graves next to each other, threw their body into the other one, the unmarked grave, along with Dr. Reed's body, so both the bodies are in the same one, an unmarked grave next to Maria's. Okay. I hope it's clear you shouldn't go around and yell this everywhere. If I don't know who it was, I don't know who shouldn't hear it, and I don't know how long I should keep my mouth shut. Maybe the only reason I'm still alive today is because there were enough deaths back then. But one more dead won't bother anyone anymore, so I'm staying silent. If I give you 40 caps, will you dig up those graves? Are you nuts? I just told you nobody can know, and you want to excavate those graves? I'd love to look inside because of your story. You can make some money or I'll do it alone. I'd prefer the first option. Okay, have it your way. Give me those caps. Hopefully people don't start... shooting me. Let's go ahead and save. So what does this one say? It's been scratched out. Maria. So this is the one that should have nobody inside of it, right? Yep, nothing. 
A note? Letter from the grave. The sheet carries the same punch and smell as the contents of the grave it was lying in. This letter's full of medical terms you don't understand at all. Okay, so this is from Dr. Reed. Hmm. Who would know about medical terms? Probably the doctor in the south, huh? I guess I'll just take it back right now, huh? No reason to wait. Well, the mercenaries aren't trying to shoot me. That's a good sign. What time is it? Eh, it's not too long until day, I guess. It's almost two in the morning. <clears throat> oh, right. I'm supposed to ask them what kind of supplies they need. Uh, I guess I'll do that while I'm here. What kind of supplies do you need? This is a list of the essential stuff. Two bottles of buffo. Okay, sure. I'm assuming you actually hand me a list, right? Did you? You didn't? Ah, whatever. I urgently need your help, Doctor. Can you explain this note? Hand him the note from the grave. Let me see. I'll have a look. Hmm, fine. I'll tell you. But it won't be for free. I want ten caps. Jesus, fine. There we go. Well, basically here it's written Maria had already been dead when someone stabbed her. Apparently she was poisoned by some potent poison. I hope this makes sense to you. No, please, describe it in even simpler terms. Poison by potent poison. Thanks, Doc. Okay, so she wasn't stabbed to death, she was poisoned to death. And then the stabbing was to cover it up, I guess. Or something. Uh, maybe I should go speak with the father. See if there's anything new we can do there. Anything new? Yes, Maria was already dead when they stabbed her. Someone had poisoned her beforehand. Dr. Reed was buried in her grave, too. What? She was poisoned? That's terrible. And where is Maria's grave? W hold on, you don't know? No, sadly not. Nobody's ever told me about it, and I can't just go and search for it. As far as I know, graves are usually located in a graveyard. Why didn't you go and look there? I wanted to, but I can't. He gargles. Leonard's men almost killed me last time. I had no chance to find the grave, or to ask the grave digger, who supposedly lives there still. Leonard's men? Someone wanted to kill me, then I found out they were Leonard's. That's odd. Seems strange to me. Leonard shouldn't have anything against you. That's an important clue. Moreover, I don't remember pissing Leonard off more than Julian, and he lets me live peacefully. Hmm. Yep, that even fits more into my idea that it probably was Alexa. But uh, for now, I can't seem to say anything about that, so maybe Leonard fears you could discover something. Maybe he's the murderer. I'll look into it. Wait a second, something crossed my mind. Hmm? See, that's strange. I didn't realize it sooner, but now, if Maria was poisoned, then Leonard must be the murderer. Only he can brew poisons here. What? Are you sure? For sure. But then again, that helper of his, Alexa, could know something about poisons too. Oh, it's definitely Alexa. Yeah, she could. Damn, we're so close. I have to know it. He coughs. I need to know who the murderer is. Oh, here we go. Looks like I can say something about it now. Now to think of it, could Alexa have been jealous of Maria? That woman the gravedigger mentioned doesn't fit in the story if we assume Leonard did it. Also, that note you received had to be written by the murderer. I doubt Leonard could have kept his calm and covered up everything so quickly back then. Yes, damn! Why didn't my old fart brain think of it sooner? <laughs> Got this dialogue. It could be Alexa as well. I think I'll pay her a visit. What's going to happen when I pay her a visit? I mean, I doubt I'm going to get her to, like... I mean, she's going to try to kill me, right? 
Perhaps I'll have a chance to convince Leonard of what happened. I'm sure if, assuming Leonard is even alive, um, if I could convince Leonard that Alexa killed the person that he loved, then surely he would turn against her. And then I'd be in Leonard's good graces. But do I really want to be in Leonard's good graces? From what I understand, both Leonard and the, uh, what, Julian? The guy on the south side are both pieces of shit. So we'll see how this goes. Any one of these people could be that person's family that I need to deliver the letter to. Is this the person? What a fucking fucked up day, huh? Want to improve it for me with some of your money? <laughs> um. Uh, I could use some money myself, but I can give you some fruit. Who fucking wanted your fucking food? If you ain't got cash, then fuck off and take this shit with you. He throws the food in your face. Let's not attack him. Fine. Goodbye. Any one of these people could be the person's family. You are one big youngling. What? Pretty sure I'm 25. How am I a youngling? General store, alright, that's where Leonard is. Well, I guess Leonard's beneath the store or something. Let's talk to these lovely denizens. Hi, I'm Katrine, and you? I haven't seen you here before. You aren't local then, right? You're right, I'm not. I'm new around here. <laughs> it's something that our hellhole still gets visitors. You got lost, right? Look now, I was thinking that... Well, would you happen to have a few gaps to spare? Is this seriously an option? Ew. Uh, what do you want caps for? What do you think? I haven't had my dose for a long time. Withdrawal's kicking in. Please, just a few caps. Uh, no. No. I feel like you're alive. Well, I mean, you are alive. So that makes sense. <gasps> Plants. Alright, seems like that's it, aside from in here. Can I just walk in? Okay. Alright. So if I had to steal the medical supplies, I'm guessing they'd probably be in here. This looks like a storeroom. could go very, very wrong. Who the hell are you and what do you want here? She menacingly runs her eyes over you. Well, this is obviously Alexa. I'm Rena, and I just want to talk to you. Why do you want to talk to me? Did Julian send you? That bastard sends such a wuss to kill me. He'll be dead sooner than you fall to the ground. Hold on, Julian didn't send me. And I should believe that. I don't trust anyone on principle, so why should you be an exception? Because only an idiot would gang up with someone like Julian. <laughs> Ass kissing won't help you at all, but I won't kill you. This time, what do you want? I mean, I guess I'll just launch right into it. I finally know who killed Maria. I think it'll really be of interest to you. Well, you're wrong. That bitch's death meant nothing to me. Go bother someone else with your fantasies. I've gathered enough evidence proving you killed Maria. She pierces you with her gaze. 
Really? Tell me. Maria was poisoned with a potent poison. She was stabbed only after her death. The only people who have mastered uh, the poison trade here are you and Leonard. But he didn't do it because the murderer was a woman. It had to be you. Correct. Dr. Reed figured this out as well. Maybe you know what happened to her next, too. I can't stand someone trying to blackmail me. Why did you kill Maria anyway? She didn't do anything to you. Alexa smirks hatefully. She was a poor. <laughs> Sleeping with that pathetic wretch Julian wasn't enough for her. She just seduced Leonard too. My Leonard. Um, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm really not a fan of this dialogue. But that's not all, is it? When she finally kicked the bucket, I stabbed her. I wanted to divert attention from the real cause of her death. Plus, mutilating her that way made me feel good. She finally got what she deserved. That's what you think? What about Leonard? Doesn't he suspect you at all? I'm pretty sure this is where it's going to be revealed that Leonard is not alive. Her eyes water. Leonard's been dead for a long time. Ha! <laughs> Called it. I killed him right after Maria. I knew how much he loved that... If he'd found out uh, she was dead, it would have destroyed him. That's why I poisoned him before it could happen. Okay, well, I think we know all we need to know. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to die here because my weapon is terrible and I've got a whole room full of thugs. But why were you after George? That poor guy doesn't know a thing. George was constantly trying to discover who killed his pretty little daughter. He was tireless and I was afraid he was on the right track. So I issued the order to kill him. He got away by a stroke of luck. But without access to the north side, he had no chance to investigate the murder. Until he dragged you in. And what about Leonard? Nobody's found out he's dead. Once Julian heard about Maria's death, he sent his mercenaries after us and started this pitiful war. During all that killing, nobody minded the death of one person. Nothing has changed since. Even his own people don't care about Leonard. All they're after is doping all day long. They don't care who gives them drugs for that. Looks like we've come back to the same two options. Um, alright, what's gonna happen now? Do you want to kill me too? Of course I will. Did you really think I would let you go? Coming here was a big mistake. You'll have to pay for it. And what then? You'll wage war till you destroy this town completely? This town has been on the verge of death for a long time. Let it be destroyed for all I care. Of course. There really was no other answer to be expected. Uh-oh. Hmm. This is gonna be a problem. I hope Woofer can help me out a lot, because there are four people here. One with a spear, one with a sledgehammer. She has a gun. I think that person's got a gun, too. Christ, at this point in the game... I just don't think I'm powerful enough. Oh, look at that. Car stacked in a bunch of barrels. But anyway, the barrel car doesn't help me. Um... Are the mercenaries outside gonna try to kill me, too? They're not red. But, I, I don't know. I guess I'll just go for it and see what happens. Headshot. didn't even kill him. Severely wounded. Oh, Christ. Come on, Woofer, help me out. Ooh. I'm very close to dead. Also, I think the game might have just crashed. Um... Okay, so I was thinking a bit about it, and... I realized that there really is absolutely no way I can take them on at the moment. I need, I absolutely need better equipment. Which means I need to get a gun or something like that directly, or I need to get money to get a gun. So I've got two ideas of how to do that. The first one is to do the quest to deliver the letter, and the second one is to perhaps, um, I don't know, continue on or just like steal from mercenaries, and then like just sell the stuff that I steal from them to try to buy a gun. 
basically do quests or steal stuff are my current two plans. So I'm back on the south side, and I think I found what I missed before, which is this building. I think this is the family that I need to deliver the letter to, probably. Let's go ahead and save it. Hopefully it'll give me something good. Where's the door? There it is. Please don't shoot me. Freeze! Stay put or, I'll, uh, or this gun will blow your brains out. Now turn in the direction of the door and get out. Why so rude, old man? Just want to ask you something. You stealing bitch, don't even try to buy time. You either get out now or I'll pump you full of lead. Well, this isn't a good start. Uh, I'm searching for someone who knows Adam from New Hope. The old guy pauses in surprise. Ooh, wait, you know Adam? Was it him who sent you? Yes. I have a letter for his family. Do you know where to find them? Of course. I'm his brother Samuel. Surely he must have told you about me. Well, truth be said, he didn't mention you at all. He just wanted me to find his family and give them the letter. He didn't? Well, yes, we had a huge argument last time. He's probably still angry at me. However, I forgave him a long time ago. Why'd you argue? Because of this stinking hole. He wanted to leave. I didn't. Kirtland was our home, after all. Had I known the way this place would end up, I would have left with him back then. Today, neither of us have any strength left for traveling. Anyway, you said you have his letter. Could you give it to me? Of course. Thanks. I'll read it right now. Could you come back for the reply tomorrow, please? I have a lot to write about. Wait, am I actually going to do a back and forth? Oh, Christ, don't I have to do this before I can take on the... Uh, before I can take on Alexa. Hmm. Hold on, I'm not going to play your damn postman for free. You'll have to pay me. Look around. Do you think I can offer you anything for your help? Maybe just a roof over your head. I have nothing else. It won't be necessary. I'll be back for the reply tomorrow. Yes, I leveled up. Alright, that's something. It's not equipment, but at least I have a little bit more hit points. I get to pick my first perk! Oh my god. Alright, let me think about this. I think I'm going to go with quick pockets. So it allows me to access my inventory using only two action points instead of the usual four. So I can go in there and use stuff like stim packs and stuff without using up as much action points. This seems pretty good to me. I think the only other one that I'd probably want is awareness. It's one of those kind of... I don't know, it seems more like quality of life and peace of mind more than any real huge advantage. The biggest thing is that it would just allow me to actually see exactly how many hit points someone has. Which I kind of want to know that, you know? But I don't think it would really change much, would it? I'm going to go with quick pockets. Okay, 20 skill points. My speech sucks. I mean, you'd think 50% wasn't too bad, but it seems like I've been unable to convince anyone of anything. Let's not spend it all in speech, though. Let's get it up 20%. Let's get this up to, like, 60%. I mean, so far I haven't even seen a single computer, so I feel like science is pretty useless in the beginning. But I'm sure it'll be more important later on. And a little bit more to small guns. Okay. Yeah, that seems good. You know, can I literally just sleep in your bed? Like, that would actually be pretty cool. Can I... Can I sleep? No, I can't sleep. Like, there's nowhere in this town I can rest. Why is that? Hi. Woofer, please move. Thank you. Oh, right. Well, I guess I can somehow find a way to pass time to complete this quest and then hope I get something good. That or just steal from mercenaries. 
I do want to point out though that my chance of successfully stealing is very, very low because my steal skill is 14%. I'm going to be like saving and reloading a bajillion times. Hmm. I'm going to try, now that I've leveled up and I've gotten my gun skill up a bit, I'm going to try shooting her again, but maybe from afar. I'm going to try leveraging my action points. Let's see if I can do it by like keeping my distance and trying to snipe her with my single shot pistol. <laughs> yeah, all these people are going to attack me, aren't they? Well, you know what? You know what? If I just pre-kill these guards out here, hopefully the ones inside won't come out after me. They probably will, though, but... I don't know. Maybe if they don't, I can loot their bodies? And then go buy a gun in the south side? Alright, let's try it. Let's get my distance. Is that far enough to actually hit 25%? That is terrible. I'll take it. Blood just makes me angry. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna keep my distance. Are they coming after me? Oh yeah. Also, the game seems to have like frozen again. I don't know why that keeps happening. Right. Well, I've noticed two things. Um, one, trying to shoot the mercenaries outside predictably got everybody inside to come out after me as well. There's way too many people to kill. Honestly, I'm pretty sure I'd run out of bullets, even before, like, even if I could survive, I would just run out of bullets before I could kill them all. And there's no way I'm going to survive. This is insane. So that tactic's not going to work. Also, another thing I noticed is that for some reason, every time the enemy goes to make its turn, the game freezes for like 5 to 10 seconds, which is kind of unplayable. Um, yeah, so that's a problem. Anyway, this episode's kind of running long, so I think I'll end it here, and in the next episode, I'm going to change my tactic and... I don't know, try to steal or try to kill some mercenaries in a different place, perhaps at the entrance, maybe that won't attract everybody in the entire known universe, or maybe just do some quests until I have a better weapon. Not sure, but I'm going to do something different. 